Good morning, everyone, and thank you for being here. It's great to be back in Etobicoke. Uh, I want to thank Amarjeet for his uh, hard work on bringing uh, infrastructure uh, projects uh, closer and closer to reality. The investments that we're making as a country are uh, historic, and Amarjeet's uh, thoughtful leadership uh, and uh, coming from a municipal perspective has been very, very strong in uh, leading the federal government's re-engagement uh, in building infrastructure, particularly public transit, right across Canada. Uh, of course, we couldn't do that uh, without tremendous partnerships, both with the Premier uh, and the provinces in general, uh, but also with uh, mayors. Uh, across this country, and I'm happy to highlight uh, the presence of two uh, friends who have been uh, strong leaders in their own communities and, and leaders on infrastructure, uh, Mississauga Mayor Bonnie Crombie and uh, Brampton Mayor Linda Jeffrey as well, uh, uh, along with other municipal leaders and, of course, uh, great members of, uh, of, uh, of our team. I want to specifically thank uh, Premier Kathleen Wynne for joining me today uh, to talk about this exciting announcement for people living in the GTA and, indeed, all Canadians. Last year, our government introduced an ambitious plan to help hardworking Canadians get ahead and build a strong economy for the future. With Budget 2016, we took the first step towards ensuring that public transit systems can get people to work on time and, at the end of the long day, back home faster to their families. Here in Ontario, we announced nearly $1.49 billion last year to help repair and upgrade public transit through the Public Transit Infrastructure Fund. And these investments font déjà une différence dans la vie des Canadiens à travers le pays. C'est l'une de nos priorités d'investir dans nos communautés parce que pendant presque dix ans, les municipalités et les provinces ne bénéficiaient pas du soutien fédéral dont ils avaient besoin pour assurer que les services de transport puissent répondre à une demande croissante. More families are choosing to settle in communities like Etobicoke, uh, communities that allow parents to work in the big city and allow kids to ride their bikes on the street. But for many people, things aren't that easy. Parents can't see their kids off to school because they have to leave early to catch the train in the morning. And when thousands of other commuters like them are rushing to get home at the end of a long day, they end up missing soccer practices, school plays, and family dinners. Hardworking Canadians deserve better. Budget 2017 continues to make investments to help build stronger communities for folks here in the GTA and across Canada. So today, I'm happy to announce that our government will be investing more than $1.8 billion in the GO Regional Express Rail Network. <laughs> Along with the province's contribution, this investment through the new Building Canada Fund will be the single largest transit project in which the federal government has ever invested in. These funds will help improve the lives of millions of Ontarians by making sure that students make it on time to their first job interview, that parents make it home early to help their kids with their homework, and that families enjoy what their community has to offer whenever they want. The GO network will mean a faster commute, less time in traffic, and more money in people's pockets as they trade their cars for public transit. And on that note, I really want to re-emphasize my thanks to Premier Wynne for her leadership on this project. Similarly, <laughs> similarly, over 300 projects have been approved in Ontario under the Public Transit Infrastructure Fund. These investments will help shorten commute times, decrease air pollution, and transform the way Ontarians live move and work. Nous reconnaissons que nous devons travailler avec nos partenaires des provinces et des municipalités pour faire croître l'économie et renforcer la classe moyenne. Ce sont eux qui connaissent mieux que quiconque les besoins de leur communauté. Ils savent ce qui doit être fait et nous avons besoin de leur expertise pour améliorer la vie des Canadiens en faisant des investissements bien ciblés. Today's announcement is an example of the kinds of things we can accomplish when we work together to make a real difference in the lives of Canadians and make our communities even better places to call home. 